at the farm um, and we're hoping to do this first inspection today because when the Cortez was first delivered um, two semis were coming in flat it, was a bit busy. <laughs> it was really busy we were yeah. trying to get it started um, unsuccessfully so we are here today so yep we're just gonna give you a quick tour around the bus um, inside and out let you know what we've discovered initial initially um, and then we'll probably discover a ton more things that are faulty and broken when we uh, <laughs> when we get to it. But yeah, we're just gonna give you a quick look around inside and out. Here we go. Hi, so um, we're just gonna have a quick look around the inside as well. It's a bit echoey in here because we've got the, um, the bathroom open. Um, just a few things that we've noticed again. Um, these seals are still really dried out. Um, so we're gonna have to replace those. This is the original bathroom. It's a bit of a state because the vent at the top was actually missing its cover so rain was getting in. It's clearly not been used for a long time but the plan is to just rip all this out, put something new in, something nicer, get rid of the dead moth out of the sink. Um, <laughs> just put something a bit more fresh and clean in there as well. All these are original uh, storage wardrobes. Everything's in there. Don't know really why we're going to work that but we'll, we'll come up with a solution more storage in here this is the original magic chef fridge freezer um we've not had it running but I does doubt. that open yeah i mean so oh, ah there we go so we've got great enough for a million ice cubes and some <laughs> eggs so that's cool um we've got more storage up here these are really low i've already smacked my head on one of these a couple of times um we've got this uh, original uh, Sentinel heater again. We'll probably replace that. It looks horrendous on the front. It actually looks like it's coming in carpet, which is weird. <laughs> um, there's some more storage in here. We've got this little oven. Um, it's not a bad size. I don't know what we do. We'll probably clean it and get rid of it. I guess three stove, three burn stove. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bit big for what we'll probably need. I guess. I like it. Okay. I want to cook a lot. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that's what bonfires are for. Yeah, I want to cook there too. We've got this sink. We've not run any of the water or anything running, but it's not a bad size. Mm -mm. I don't know if we need all this. Yeah. Um, the, oops. <laughs> the, uh, the, <laughs> the window seals are all horrendously um, mucky and need cleaning, mm -hmm. but we have got all the windows open to try and get some, some fresh air in here. So they all have their screens too, all which the screens is really are amazing. They probably just need a clean. This window seal here has a, a big hole to the outside. But Show me again. It's right here. There's like an inch oh, gap yeah. to the outside. Um, the seats are in really good condition. We've not had everything folded out into a bed, but we have had this table out once or twice. Seems pretty good. This is one of the air conditioning units. We have no idea if it works. Um, the second air conditioning unit, which I believe is a factory optional extra, is above the cockpit. Um, seems. Uh, I mean, it looks great. Mm -hmm. It's very industrial, but we don't know if it works. Um, this is um, obviously into the driver's seat. Someone's just showed up. Mm -hmm. um, so there is two fuel gauges. So we think one of them doesn't work. We know this one works down here, which is obviously aftermarket. Um, we haven't had it running yet, so we don't know. But generally, everything condition-wise is pretty good, apart from... The carpets are looking a bit tired. Mm. These engine covers have been cut and someone's fabricated this beautiful bit of uh, joinery. Um, <laughs> they've done it because of the V8 engine, so they've cut some clearance in it. We've not put the panels back in the right orientation just because of um, time and we've not got it running yet. But everything in the cockpit's really good. The only, I mean, there's a few bits of flaking paint and stuff, um, but everything seems pretty good. Okay, so we're just gonna have a quick look around the outside now. Um, just have a bit of a, a review of what, what we definitely don't need doing. So the obvious one is this windshield. It's got a massive crack through it. Um, that's gonna need replacing. Uh, those are the window seals. They're a bit cracked in places. There's a few gaps where they've shrank and contracted. There's some spots of blue paint randomly dotted around the vehicle. So we don't know where that's from, but obviously we're gonna take care of all the paintwork. This bumper's got a few scraps and scrapes in it. We'll get all that straightened out and cleaned up and, and fixed. Uh, the wiper blades don't have wiper blades in them anymore. <laughs> um, this is the biggest area of 
body work that needs doing. You can see there's plenty of Bondo on here that's cracking off, so we're probably going to cut all this out, weld it in, weld in a new piece and replace it. Uh, this mirror arm is missing a, a support bracket, hence the holes, um, so that needs replacing. A um, couple of tiny bits of surface rust. The seals in all the doors ugh, are uh, dead. They're all dried out and horrible, so they all need replacing. Talk about the handle of this store too. Yeah, this handle only works from the outside. Can't get out from the inside without opening the window. And it's really hard to get in. Yeah, the doors are really stiff. It doesn't kind of sit flush, so we are giving it a good thump. So you need to do that. The rest of all this looks pretty good. There's a bit of rust up there where the gutter is. Um, hopefully it's just surface rust, but if not, again, we'll cut out the panel, uh, cut out the piece and, and weld in some new. Um, one thing we have learned is that the fuel hose is for some reason like short, so it doesn't kind of meet the um, the filler neck um, as we experienced when we threw petrol all over the, uh, the floor. Um, this is kind of like a little storage unit for a gas bottle and a couple of batteries. We've, this is the like the first time we've actually looked in here. It, uh, it's a bit mucky, but I think it'll clean up all right. Don't know what the condition of the battery is like. Looks like there's some gas in here as well. Nice to have the space as well. Yeah, yeah so I know um, somebody else with a Cortez that have actually just like took the gas out and they run everything with their batteries in here. Um, this panel again is covered in bondo and um, we're probably going to cut all well get all this bondo off and have a look and then cut out an, a new panel and put it in all this sort of stuff the bolts nuts and everything and the chrome we're probably going to get re-chromed and cleaned up um this tire's cracking so we want to um get a cover for it at least to protect it to stop it getting any worse but we're lucky because the tires are all the new. tires are all new yeah which is great mm -hmm. um a couple of patches of rust here again seems pretty solid um, hopefully it's just a bit of surface rust mm -hmm. um, and we can clean it all up. One thing we have noticed is the floor panel at the bottom, it seems to be wood. We don't know if that's original or not, but um, we're going to have a look at that. And Show us where? So it's like this panel here is uh, wood, I think. Mm -hmm. Sounds like wood. Um, so we'll, we'll, when we get round to it, we'll, we'll clean all that up and either replace it or clean it up and paint it, protect it. These seals are all dying because of the they're all gone brittle and they've all got crushed and everything over time. So and what's this little box down here? Um, this is like a mains plug, so you can like effectively plug the bus into a main socket and power everything from a, a house, mains electric. This is the brake that we think is uh, faulty. We believe it just needs a new wheel cylinder in there. Um, seems like a, a pretty easy thing to fix, but we are considering a um, disc conversion mm -hmm. um, we're just doing a bit of research on that we need to get some um, brackets made uh, this is a bit rusty but I think it should polish up okay again the seals are all dead but other than that everything seems pretty good um, we're hoping to get it running soon uh, we think it needs a new starter motor but we'll see when we were laughing it was fun 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 oh it was fun so it's day two at the Cortez and we are doing what we promised, which is our first inspection. So I'm gonna let Andrew take over, go ahead. Okay, so. what you see? Also, Anne, talk to me about under here. What do we see? Um, so there's a box under here and I think this is actually a, it's a plug socket. And not even the box too, but talk about the wood. Oh, okay, so, okay. That's fine. I wish you'd have said that. No, no, you're <laughs> Before I messed about with this lid that I can't see. Okay, no, we're not looking at that because this is soaking wet and I told her about it. So underneath here, this, um, the, the exhaust hanging off. It's currently held on by wire. There's no wiper blades in our wiper arms. Oh, there's a wiper blade. Oh, the remnants of a wiper blade in this one. Oh, the remnants. So that's it. Need a new door seal. <laughs> You definitely need a new door seal. <laughs> this is the scariest panel here. Yeah. Um, it moves quite a lot. It sounds a bit weird. Um, but it's clearly had a hit at some stage. You can see how thick the filler is there. In fact, you could probably pull that off. I don't know how wise it would be to do that. Yeah, we'll leave it for now, I think. But um, it's not the end of the world. Um, so, yeah. So far, so good.